Well, my name is Ray Brandhurst, and I've been a lifelong commercial fisherman. We're forced to take on another dimension to this business to be, to survive. Um, we're forced to market our products. My wife and I, we opened up a retail um, seafood market in St. Bernard Parish, and uh, the purpose of it was to try to get a little bit more for our shrimp to make it work. Uh, this was our little retail store. This is right before Katrina also. A little mom and pop operation. After the storm, we knew that, uh, we realized that our retail store was gone, so, and we knew as part of survival in this industry, you know, today that we, you know, it's, it's a necessity to market your product. After we opened our shop and began moving some of his product out of there, still it wasn't quite enough, and um, we always were in search of new ideas, and, and trying to think out of the box, and we read the ad for the Crescent City Farmers Market, yeah. and that's how, <laughs> in a newspaper, and that's how we got we involved applied in the Farmers Market. Format developed these uh, brochures, and uh, we use those when uh, we travel to different white boot brigade events and stuff to uh, be able to market our product, tell our story, and promote Wild Louisiana Shrimp. After Katrina, we we kind of changed, to shifted gears, shifted focus of the White Group Brigade, and we said, you know, we want to get this message out on a national basis, or reach out as far out as we could, and to as many people as we could. And that's how the White Group Brigade evolved into what it is today. And uh, we still do local events, and we still promote it locally, but in addition to that, we also promote it on a national basis as much as possible. My name is Aaron Brigo. I'm the owner of Patois Restaurant uptown New Orleans and uh, I love to buy Miss Kay's shrimp at Four Winds uh, Seafood. It's great to support somebody locally. Um, you know, I've been knowing her for a while and then you know the family, you know where they come from, you know where they're catching the shrimp, you know exactly everything about the shrimp. I mean, it's a beautiful product and uh, it's great to be able to support somebody that you're, you know, you're friends with and you've known for so long and they have such great product. It's kind of a multitude of customers, you know. We have those that, um, you know, we have some high-end restaurants that only want the biggest, that only want the best. And so that's kind of like what we do when Ray is out shrimping on the boat or when, you know, not like we say whatever he catches, say he caught 500 pounds and I may take and uh, shoot an email out to try to, say, market some 1015s. We know that that is a very desirable size. So what we do as a couple, we may try to sell as many as we can, shipping them out. But instead of going to dump those, those, that size shrimp at the dock, we will take and have them frozen. And when the sh that size is not available, we will pull from that size out of cold storage. We'll decide how many we can ship out fresh, you know, how many we can market locally, bringing them to the market. We're at the mercy of what Mother Nature provides. We're, we're only harvesters, we're not uh, producers, so. I have like quite a few lists. I have some lists that um, are just like little homemakers but unfortunately with homemakers that are out of state, they might only order, you know, once or twice a year. Um, this right here that I'm doing is a list of chefs we have that go up the uh, northeast coast. And I'm just letting them know what exactly I have available today. Yeah, so sometimes we like to try to do something really catchy if he has some really unusual bycatch. Different times of years, if he's fishing in Grand Isle, he sometimes comes in with some uh, squid. Um, sometimes when he's over here in the fall, we have soft shell shrimp. That is really a big one and a very easy thing to boutique market. Because this isn't like just a sure thing once you drop it off at FedEx. It takes careful monitoring. 